Mr. Hicks, we have found a body at Miss Emily Gershon's house. Now what I need you to do to help further this investigation is to tell me as much information as possible so that way we can figure out whose body this is and how it came to be there. Is that understood, Mr. Hicks? Well, she always, she's always lived in that house. She, um, she lived with her father in there for as long as I can remember until who died. And she, she didn't handle it well. What do you mean she didn't handle it well? I mean, she was, it wasn't just a depression. She was, she became secluded. She became dead inside, soulless. She walked around as if she was a zombie. But after that, she just, she locked her way. She locked herself in the house, and I guess I haven't seen her since. How well did y'all know Miss Emily before her father's death? And what was his father like, anyhow? No one knew Emily well. No one knew the Greersons well. Both of them, they were secluded people. They didn't really leave the house. I mean, he, the father, he was, he was so strict. He had this elitism idea that he was better than anyone, really. He didn't let any sort of person touch his perfect little daughter. But, I don't know, they, they weren't good people. I can't really say what happened to Emily herself, but... Yeah. I'm supposed to understand that Miss Emily was uh, instructing children how to china paint for a living after her father died, but looking at the financial reports, there's no way that I could have paid her taxes, so how did she get by? She sort of, she sort of had connections with the higher-ups in the community. Colonel Sartoris was merciful. He took, he took pity on her. He let, the, uh, he let the taxes slide. Thinking back on it, I really don't know why. She didn't deserve it. But... So, this Homer fella, what was his relation to Miss Emily? Were two a couple? Were they just having a platonic relationship? Did they ever marry? Or elope? Homer was different. He wasn't from around here. He was a, a Yankee. Come from up north. But I guess the two, you could say, fell in love, but I really don't know if they had any sort of physical relationship. But they were together at almost all times once they became a relationship. It was. They were. I guess they were two trusting people living together. But she, she loved him. I do know that. Now, no one has seen Homer in the past 25 years. Why is that? How am I supposed to know that? I didn't know any of them personally. You're asking me a question I cannot answer. It's just, I've, I've told you everything I know. It's not, it wasn't my business in the first place. It was, I really don't know why I'm, I'm even here. You're here because you have information pertaining to this case, sir. Now, I need you to tell me if you have even the slightest indication of what happened to Homer and any details leading to his disappearance. Is that understood, Mr. Hicks? You don't, you don't have to be so aggressive. I've told you everything I know, okay? See, I wasn't there when Emily died. I wasn't there when whatever happened to Homer. It was, I told you, it's none of my business. I don't know why you even brought me in here. Why didn't you get the, the servant, or the gardener, or somebody else, a neighbor? Well, why'd you even ask me? 
I'd ask the servant because the servant booked town about when the funeral happened. All right? Now I need you to tell me any information you might have heard around these gossip circles that might have been linking suspicious behavior of Miss Emily when Homer left. All right? Is that understood? Okay. Okay. Let's calm down. Homer. He uh he left town whenever Emily had family over. Um, I guess the in-laws or something. Didn't really appreciate that, but. He, um, after he came back, Emily had, uh, she had gone to the, um, pharmacy and she bought arsenic, I guess, to kill the, kill the rats, but I technically don't know what she did with the arsenic, who knows. Now, there's no official record of the two ever having officially married under the eyes of the law. Why is that you guys suspected that they eloped in private? She she bought them things that a wife would buy for a husband. It you could infer that they were married or got married, but Homer wasn't really the marrying type. He was a um, he was a bachelor. He wasn't really a homebody. You know he was every Friday night over at the bar down the street with the guys details, sir. What made you think that they were going to get married other than small town gossip? What little details made you think they were going to marry? I need that information as soon as possible, sir. We have a dead body on our hands and I need to know why. I told you everything I know. All the details. But it really looks like that you're implying the body was Homer's. Yes, we are implying the body is Homer's. Are you saying Emily killed Homer? We are suspect that she might be the killer of Homer and that the body is indeed Homer's. No, I don't have anything to say. You sure you don't know anything? Because I feel like you're missing out on one detail that can solve this whole case. You understand me? I need you to tell me everything you know. Is that understood, sir? Okay. 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 One little detail. She, um, she bought him silver engraved toiletries. Okay? That is all I know. That's it. Okay? Engraved toiletries. Alright. I want you to explain how you came upon the body of this unidentified individual. Um, we went to Emily's funeral. I wouldn't say it was a great funeral. <laughs> how can funerals be great? But she was, she was different, her, her body was. At this point she was, she was really big, very overweight. Her hair was iron gray. She was old, almost leathery. It wasn't really a pretty sight. But after after the funeral, we uh, we were attempting to move things out of the house. We uh, we worked our way to the upstairs bedroom. And when we finally got the door open, it was it was like we were opening a tomb, something old and and ancient. There was dust in the air, and it smelled like cotton balls. But it almost seemed like nothing had been moved. A few cobwebs here and there, but everything was untouched. But in the, um, the right, on the dresser was the uh, engraved toiletries that she had bought home. On the bed was, uh, looked like a uh, mummified body. Right there, Beside the body was another pillow with a iron gray hair and the indention of a indention of a head.
We done here.